hello Capricorn welcome to my channel this is sage sunset healing tarot and I'm here with your messages for this week let us get into your energy field and feel it out let us see let's see Capricorn I will shuffle for a few minutes and then I'll come back to present to you the reading. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you are well and I hope that this reading is well received by you. Stay tuned. Okay, Capricorn, welcome back. So. The message I have for you going into this week is that I feel first of all that you don't really let people into your energy to your authentic feelings a lot you are you know how to find ways of distracting yourself and others so that they focus on really talking about how you're truly feeling <laughs> so it really yeah you're that type of person that you are dealing with things you're working on yourself you have like everyone has things dealing with financially in their home in their own spiritual growth mental growth it seems like you don't really uh let people in truly because maybe you keep busy or you know you distract people with stories <laughs> with stories or you know you just kind of keep people out of your energy maybe out of fear that you won't be accepted or understood for how you really feel for the things that you're really working on maybe you don't think you're going to be taken seriously so you distract people up until the point where you have to sleep and then you alone deal with how you really feel i have to tell you that that is not healthy you know i mean to some extent it's okay but to really not let anyone in your life and then kind of distract distract them with other stories while you feel alone like you have to be dealing with something on your own and so it's like you pretend like everything is okay you will force this energy of being okay out of you you'll be laughing working whatever you're doing but sometimes there are things that you just don't really share maybe you just don't know how to really let people into your life You've never really settled into the idea of sitting down and really saying how you really feel. And that's okay. But I just want you to really imagine a li living your entire life like that where instead of, it's just like, it feels like you're clothing yourself into as if you don't really trust that people the people around you will accept you all right let's move on but that's the big that was the beginning of your energy i felt like you were trying to distract me from coming into your energy by maybe talking about this and talking about some other things because you know you just didn't want to let me in for a while but i'm here <laughs> so i feel like you have a new sense of desires and that is to be more either trying to focus more on just being the best of yourself because maybe right now you're thinking that i'm not at the best of myself i can be so you're in an energy of focus of grounding yourself of intention of being intentional about where you want to be there's a feeling in you that wants to move from where you are to something that has manifested inside of you but you haven't yet realized it maybe you don't even know how to really access that place that you have manifested internally so 
so you're focusing on grounding yourself in your heart space maybe you've never done that before really come into your space in your heart connect with your heart space meaning knowing who you are knowing what to let into you grounding yourself like building a sense of stability in you that is that has your back that is your backing that you can rely on okay so I also feel like so either you're trying to ground yourself or you're focusing on you're looking at yourself doing some self-reflection which is the similar thing you're looking into yourself reflecting trying to really connect with your heart and this this what you're going through is divine intervention by your spirit guides the angels that have lifted something and uh reveal to you that there's room in you there's space in you for more maybe you've been feeling stuck a little bit maybe you're focusing on another person maybe you aspire to be like them or to be with them a person that is everything that you've ever wanted or wanted to be like uh, motherly or fatherly a homebody one is independent uh, has a career one that everyone loves and appreciates one that is connected to his heart space knows how to lead a king so either you want to feel like this or you're focusing on someone like this. <sighs> Capricorn, I don't know if you're focusing on a water sign which could be, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe you're looking to that person for guidance as if you wish to be in a, in a similar nature or you're fo the, it's an actual person that you're focusing on maybe in love with someone that you love <sighs> so it's any gender it could be a male that you're focusing on or a female you know maybe you're, it's maybe it's someone who is of a similar sex to you uh, that's maybe helping you to ground in your heart space And so so this is the new desire that you have manifested and I believe that new desire is to be here or to get here whether to be with this person or to feel in this energy of this king of cups energy that I just described I feel that once you connect with your <clears throat> your heart space it will bring some sort of a stability in feeling valuable feeling confident grounded feeling that there's space there's like your your value is <laughs> real like you can feel it in you it's not something that you're working on it's 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 like prominent in you your sense of value worth which helps you to propel yourself forward happier more more joyful so 
so the person you're focusing on may may feel more stable to you may bring to you more value more feelings of value or this is a valuable love connection that is guided by the angels or you feel that this person is angelic and uh, is determined and focused and valuable but I feel like once you establish yourself in your heart space setting boundaries know what to accept what to refuse just being more confident in who you are being kinder to yourself to those around you being real being authentic opening up your heart not closing or shutting refusing to let people see into you so you're doing some internal reflection you're looking at your face in the mirror for example and you're saying do I look like how I really feel do I feel about myself how I look is my image matching my you know how I feel about is my reflection matching how I really feel about myself right now what am I telling people? So maybe you wish to come to a place where you can have genuine open-hearted conversations with, the, with others around you, re saying how you really feel and not feeling bad about it, but being confident. Confident because you're sure of yourself, you know you're connecting to your heart space. And then that will align you with this energy, the King of Cups energy that feels very valuable determined yes creative and um, just has a great energy one who is protective of themselves know what to let in you want to I want I feel like you want to be more independent more clear about who you are you want to have something of reason of purpose that drives you so you're looking you're in your you're very much in your Capricorn energy of wanting of being you know that independence maybe in self maybe I'm um, detaching from things that don't serve you you want to feel more powerful in love so you're really really going inside yourself and re-evaluating your desires your life where you are now where you wish to be you want to feel more in control of your direction in life of your emotions of your what you're creating what you're focusing on maybe you're not letting love in because you've been hurt so you have your defense up that's okay but how do you feel like it's okay to see how you feel not to pretend as if you've gotten over something and you have not as if you've healed and you are not and so you pretend like you're okay but is that kind of action increasing your sense of value or not so you want to feel hefty like you're grounded you want to feel more balanced especially in your heart space in your heart space meaning in love in compassion in fruitfulness in charity in being open and accepting in having clarity of being in the flow backed by your sense of confidence your, your glow you know feeling ease feeling great about yourself you're able to now focus in a greater way because maybe you've tried something and it's true you know who you are you know what you're reaching for what you're trying to manifest 
and believe me it is something that is in you that is true to you the life that you dream of could be multiple things not just love but knowing you are a creator and that is why you can actually be working on being more fruitful more creative about where you're going there's passion in you to really create the life that you wish to create to become who you want to be who you are really because this is like an innate state place in you something that you carry along with you like a gift maybe it is what you're using to focus There's something to give thanks for. Maybe it is that gift to really gather yourself together and focus your intentions on manifesting the life that you desire. Know that you have grace and the backing of your spirit, your guides behind you. And you have this desire is heavenly, it's something beautiful that will make you feel well about yourself. It's a desire that you haven't manifested yet, but you're working on it. You're working on cutting out, on serving things, on being uh, in, in a stable place in yourself about what you produce, how you handle situations, how you can handle things on your own, how you can manage especially things that you create maybe in thoughts but you have the queen of wands energy that means you're very intuitive you're guided you're connected to the divine you are like almost perfect as you are you are motherly you are effervescent, you're beautiful. There is there um, evidence around you of how connected you are to life and to your real motherly nature. You might not be giving yourself enough credit for being caring and nurturing. And that <laughs> might be why you're trying to really step into your heart space. There's something that you feel is missing, but I just think it's not missing. It's like gathering. It's forming. It's forming. This feels like it's being work. It's working on. You're putting in the work. Toward coming to this place of stability. In heart, I feel. Maybe so you can express, live life more true to you or demanding, live life more demanding of what you want. Maybe because your confidence has elevated. Alright, so just know that the wishes and the dreams, the desires you have for stability, for confidence, for love, for connecting with your true love. So I feel like you are going inside there. You are doing inner work. And it is really something that is guided. That you are to, you are meant to do this work inside of you Capricorn. So you're in hermit mode. This is an earth sign card as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. creating the king of cups energy you want, you want to be fruitful have a home life or this person you're kind of wanting to be like this person or maybe focusing on this type of energy this person who is the king of cups energy There's something to really celebrate in your life that's coming that's coming to fruition. This card feels like 
mastery of mind like there's an elevation a graduation a celebration coming forth maybe you're going off on a journey maybe it's a promotion in yourself or in work because you are Capricorn so it could be work so you're going off like you're taking a leap of faith doing something brand new feeling good maybe feeling a bit uncertain or hesitant or scared a bit but you are taking the leap of faith to go to bring in the new because old ways of thinking you realize are not serving you anymore certain fears certain doubts or condition condition belief patterns that are holding you back you have this opportunity now to take that leap of faith and go because something in you crumbled when you realized that you're more than you were thinking before so you're garnering the strength the courage that is necessary to proceed on your path Something might have changed in you when you actually went inside to connect with your your light, your guidance, your heart. It's like you're looking into yourself and wondering, what does what would my heart want to do today? Before you were just being led by life, really. It, it seems in comparison to really following your heart now. So when you follow your heart, you're taking a leap of faith. Feels like brand new beginnings, like uh, joy, celebration, wealth, prosperity. Tra I want to say travel, travel because I see this card. Feels like flying, traveling on the wings of angels, moving. The sense of value. bringing in the new it's a new day it's a new time to feel steady or to have will power So now that you have um, established a feeling in your heart space, you feel like more you're in a more grounded place to create your the life that you want. Capricorn energy for the upcoming week. Okay. Something is ending. This is the tower card showing that something is coming to an end. You're going off. Maybe you've chosen to align with your intuition, your intuition, with uh, your true calling, your soul purpose, something that you're meant to do. You're aligning with that. Maybe you feel afraid because of that, but it's okay. Things end, so new things can begin. This is the new thing. It feels like it's bursting up from your inside out. So it's inside of you and gradually you're manifesting yourself to really be in its power, to be useful in its power, in your energy. In your energy don't forget about your energy as a Capricorn your true gifts Capricorns are fun and that's that they're almost the life of the party they are fun they are brilliant they love hard work 
they um, they're very caring they have water in their charts so they're nurturing caring loving different they're kind of unique people that maybe have different per multiple or you know kind of personalities that work that works so don't forget that you're you have space to be soft and also to be grounded so I think you are normally very grounded you're looking to be more grounded in your heart to overcome some kind of a, a fear of change but eventually you're stepping into that power you're being what you want to be you're deciding to to move with your your grace and with your intuition your intuition meaning maybe finding the whole of yourself and not denying who you are and also connecting with your water side knowing that you're divine Tr having something to trust in trust in something to rely on in yourself that makes you feel courageous are confident so you have to establish your your boundaries yourself of self your sense of self on the inside and then that reflects itself on who you represent to be on the outside and so you attract what you are to you you're wanting to feel more stable more grounded there's something about love as I said, it could be you're looking for someone to love or just to love yourself more. Yeah, the Ace of Wands, meaning, which is this card. You're being handed this gift. I did say coming from the universe, really, it does. It's, just, it's, it's coming in from your angels and guides. They don't want you to be afraid of change. Your angels are guiding you. I want you to look around you in your environment for signs. Like birds, butterflies, mostly things that fly, flowers blooming, things of life flourishing around you. That will help you to really trust trust in yourself build your confidence because now you know that you are being guided and this is a true gift what you're going through i feel like now you want to tune into the feelings in your gut more so following your instincts connecting to your intuition and i feel like you want to really express more from that true place how you really feel move more like in that place of groundedness because your intuition sort of grounds you you're not ifing and butting you know that's your intuition knowing so you move more grounded feeling more aligned more confident more confident this is you being confident feeling good about yourself, feeling wealthy, feeling in your values, looking forward to creating more of what you have, being thankful, feeling vibrant. Alright, so I think you're looking to create more financial stability. Capricorn. 
Africans love their their money. <laughs> it's true. You love feeling good. You love your your funds. Queen of Swords. Oh, this was already here. Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Powering up in your value. Three of Pentacles. Whatever you're going through is really guided. You might have went through heartbreak and uh, feelings of betrayal and hurt and being left to really drown and die on your own but look what card comes next is the nine of pentacles there's a new day there's a new dawn there's something rising up you're not dead you're alive you're here you're well you're beaming you look beautiful you are Attracting what is inside of you out on the outside You might feel like this I, I did mention being afraid feeling afraid fearful You might be one that's afraid that don't get sleep at night very much even though you Try to incorporate different techniques into your sleeping routine Maybe it's not working because you're really tormented and really focused on a feeling that is really present in you that you can't seem to lift off of you. That's why you need to connect with your heart. Certain things happen in the mind and they're, they're created within us, within our minds, our own minds. And so we have to be stern with even our own selves, not just the people around us. Sometimes it is time to stop with the idling and the distractions and really face what is really going on inside of us. So that we know what to let in and what not to, even within our own thoughts. The things that we tolerate that harm us. If we don't give get give ourselves that time to go in and really connect and ask questions, why am I this way? What's going on? You know, be humble, be compassionate with yourself. That's why you, there's there's a need to really connect with your heart, to be inspired. There's true love in your life if you're looking for a love reading, but this is a general read and not necessary and not a love reading, right? So you have kind of a true love but oops Capricorn I'm sorry but you're feeling like um, maybe you can't really allow people to love you so much right now because of feelings like this torment memories bad energy feeling broken-hearted and stuff like that I know how you feel there's true love in your life and so it may be in order to really open your heart because you're in the queen of swords energy maybe the king of swords you have the king of swords and the queen of swords here see that this is the queen of swords and the king of swords you have both of their energy on the deck so maybe you're in defense mode because of this. Maybe many times you've been lied to, like a, a swift tongue that just lies to you. And you know it. Your intuition is like, ah, oh, tell me the truth because you feel it in your stomach. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's it. I feel like there's something in you that knows something. It don't ever don't deny your intuition it's going to cause you to lose your sense of value and trust in who you are and what you believe people might lie to you guess lie to you tell you that what you're seeing is not so even to your in your own thoughts your own thoughts might deceive you 
but you have to use your intuition you are made to feel good on earth what don't feel good to you and feel off and questionable you should listen you should really listen to that follow that intuition ask questions express your truth yourself properly effectively and in order to really know your intuition I'm repeating myself but it is really just formulate formulating at this point you yes you went through some tough stuff my dear but you need to regain your sense of self I see that we're going to put these away because no to regain your sense of self more, more than likely you have to be in this energy blocking out things that come to you as love it might be true love but you have to really it's like let me see half and half show me 50 50 before I let you in you know that's okay sometimes we have to be in that energy it's called self-love and healing if we continue to let things come into us that aren't benefiting us that as, as I mentioned it's diminishing a sense of value so in order to regain your sense of value really use this time that you're, go, you're going in hermit mode which means you're being on the low low you're quiet you know you're going into yourself um, like you're going into a cave a little bit to really ask yourself some question be calm be quiet be humble be truthful this is the time to be bare be bare to who yourself so that's what you're you know you're blocking off these offers of love are these things of love maybe from you blocking it off from an outside source so that you can really go inside know who you are tap into your intuition becoming this master of not well not master becoming a, get, getting in a high sense of connecting with your intuition connecting with the divine in you with your frequency align with the things in your environment that's actually a part of your intuition like uh signs from the universe about how you feel about something if you're questioning something is going wrong just listen for the little signs you know the animals around you it's all aligned that will help you to really establish a sense of self of knowing instead of always being told when you get in, in established in a, your sense of self forgive me um, for that stumble or fumble whatever <laughs> it continues when you are aligned with yourself of self, sense of self, this is how you feel. Trusting this person is connecting with the environment, the birds, the trees, and glowing up in confidence, feeling better. You have to give it a chance to know how it really feels to trust your intuition, to say no, to have these boundaries set up. So that what you welcome into you is the best of the best inside and out inside and out this is a twin flame card meaning the person you could be manifesting is the real love of your life that reflects you your king or queen of cups your beauty your soulmate your twin flame your partner to be so you're looking to to be to know who you truly are in order to be able to recognize this person when they come along and you're going to know by your intuition see if there's anything else so as i was saying you know pay attention to your thoughts what goes on in your mind what you're creating the stories that you're making up in your head some that needs to be dispelled, put put away. Some things that repeat themselves that continually come up to bug you, put them away. You have the power. You are the one that is 
established in your mind and so you have the power as the queen to cut out what don't what hurts you harms you it could be something that you've been dealing with for years that keeps it's like that weed that you keep cutting out and it keeps coming back for years and years that same old thought and feeling that's not serving to you no you have to be like hey I, you know this is my this is my house I no longer wish to tolerate that kind of thought this is my house this is my kingdom this is my body I have to live here I do not wish to f to have to deal with battling these thoughts and feelings anymore that are drag dragging me down I'm choosing to cut I don't wish to think like that or feel like that or even accept it from other people in my surroundings because if I'm not accepting it from myself I'll accept this from no one so you know what to let in you're feeling really grounded and you're very much you're expressing yourself you might have a family I believe that they there are so many beautiful things around you like children animals things of beauty that helps to keep you grounded and solid you know I was saying that earlier pay attention to those things butterfly birds blooming flowers the laugh of the laughter of children those things that help to ground you in your heart okay it helps with your thoughts so you you beautify your thoughts more that, that's a secret <laughs> right you can ask for guidance I keep telling you there's a lot of guidance in your energy from both the angelic realm you know the heavenly realms and your spirit guides that love you and are here with you guiding you you know talking of ways how to really show you help you like to be here with you what I see this Emperor card makes me feel like you have the guidance from someone uh, that is older this feels like a father figure this Emperor sign is also an earth sign so it could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus someone who has established value in themselves the Emperor who governs over their own body who feels good this emperor feels like somebody who don't really speak with you they have words to say but they can't speak to you maybe they're on the other side maybe this person is on the other side of this life looking just wanting to really guide you protect your heart they want to give you everything maybe you lost someone it could be your father that's loving you wanting to protect your heart from the other side <laughs> the world card series of fortunate events sorry the wheel of fortune series of fortunate events coming around Brace your temple with healing, restoring a sense of clarity, bringing in the new. Bringing in the new. Remember, we had the tower card. Something is crumbling so that the new can come around to you. So don't have fear. It could be a way of thinking. Like you're, you might be being tested by life to see how you handle a certain situation that is your elevation your graduation your step to really prove that i can do this it's okay i can think better thoughts i can get through this so this something is ending to bring something new and wonderful into you like the wheels are turning in your favor it's turning to send something off to you All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you for this reading. For the highlights, we have 
using your intuition that seated feeling in your gut to really focus on creating the life you want by aligning with your heart space so you know how what to let in what not to let in in your mind in your heart in your physical world you know what to really get rid of what to keep so you can manifest feeling like this like a million bucks glowing up inside out attracting wealth and high value circumstances in your life connecting with the divine by looking for its presence in your environment through the animals and the just the atmosphere around you feels wealthy and good because you are feeling that way about yourself you feel good you could be wanting to attract this true love person to you could be a cancer scorpio pisces a water sign or a taurus that loves you okay thank you so much for tuning in to this reading capricorn i hope you enjoyed it and all the best to you until next time take care much love